Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old Joe Cody ready to go if you want to. Sure. I'm going to hit the record button. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, festival edition. Today, I'm with Charlie Winger. How are you, Charlie? I'm doing very well. Thank you. How are you? Charlie, you've got a couple of events going on this year. Um, Tell us a little bit about you, where you grew up. Talk a little bit about your family and career. So I uh, grew up outside of Atlanta as a little kid. My mom full side is from that area of the country. And uh, then when I was about getting to junior high, we moved all the way out to the Seattle area. And I grew up in the suburbs over there, teenage, 20s, 30s. Uh, and then got to Red River about four and a half years ago, which is where my wife was born. And we came down here just to kind of restructure life a little bit, get out of the rat race a little bit. Perfect. All right. Let's jump into the to the uh, to the events and specifically to go ahead and we'll start with the one you've got in August. OK, so in August, the third weekend in August, we have the 8750 Barbecue and Music Festival um, that we're in our third year with that one. And. Uh, we do uh, two, three nights, two days, or really an extra morning after um, with uh, music. And then we have a uh, barbecue cook-off and uh, two different chili cook-offs that happen at the same time. <laughs> All right. So when I ask you this question, people are going to want to know three things. What does it look like? Give them a visual. What does it smell like? You've already started on that one. And then what does it sound like? And you've kind of hit on that as well. So let's go back and answer those three questions. So the third weekend in August up here in Red River is really, I don't know if the weather can get any better. It's generally sunny almost the entire time. We might catch a little spot of rain here or there, but it's like right around 80 degrees, pretty much zero humidity, no bugs, just really, really gorgeous. And Red River is situated in this little mountain valley. So you just got the mountains around you. Uh, and then as far as smells go, obviously we got the cook-off going. So you've got all this awesome barbecue smell going on. On Saturday, uh, all the judging happens. And we've got samples from the chili cookers and anybody going into the People's Choice Contest. And then all the judging for the contest is uh, by volunteers. And so it's just attendees sign up during the day or two leading up to it. And then Saturday, they all uh, get together and do the judging in the afternoon on Saturday. Um, And then just like overall vibe, we're really going for like kind of a block party vibe with this thing. Uh, You know, we've got the music going um, and the cook offs and everything. And it's just like we just really want it to be a big happy love fest through the whole weekend. Cool. Let's jump to October. No, September, I guess it was. Talk yeah. about the event in September. So then at the end of September, uh, we have the Aspen Cade Arts and Music Festival. Um, this one, we're sort of re... We're, we're back under the Aspen Cade name as the main name of the whole event for the first time this year in several years. It was the Red River Folk Festival at Aspen Cade for the last several years. And we sort of wanted to broaden like the kind of acts we can bring in and just sort of the overall theme a little bit. And so Aspen Cade was always the arts and crafts fair. So instead of the cook-off next to the music, we have like a premium crafts fair going on. It's really highlighting New Mexico, especially, and other Southwestern artisans and stuff. Perfect, perfect. Charlie, you mentioned that y'all moved. You moved to Red River area. Mm-hmm. Talk about Talk about the community. Talk about how these events are representative of the community and how they also benefit the community. So we came here and uh, my wife was born here, but Red River is like a very, very small town. We have less than 500 uh, year round residents here. Uh, And so events like this, this is a totally tourism driven economy here. Uh, There used to be a mine down the way that had some employees and stuff. And that still does employ a few folks, but really tourism is, our main main driver here in the winter we have a ski area and in the summer it's events and just outdoor activities that are driving all of our visitors um so these events in particular were started with the intention of sort of extending the summer season summer window used to be really popular in july but then by this late august window school's starting up and people just had stopped coming like uh so these events got started up as a way to sort of extend our visitation uh, and really help like the overall revenue for the year with all of our lodgers and all of our businesses in town. 
That's perfect. That makes great sense. That makes a lot of sense. Has it worked? Like, is, is it, has it been beneficial? Absolutely. I mean, 8750 is really becoming like people's favorite weekend of the whole year. That's feedback from the community and from our visitors. So that's, uh, you know, we get more and more community engagement as far as sponsorship, but also just people coming out to the event, even though people are the, the sort of the catch 22 is that they could, the locals can only attend so much sometimes just because when we bring in a lot of extra visitors, now everybody's got to go work their actual job. For the weekend. <laughs> so, but people make time around that and we see a lot of them out at the shows when they can make it out and stuff. And, uh, it's become a really good time. Um, Aftoncade is a little bit tougher of a lift because school is way more in session. We're into like a later part uh, of September at this point. And we're still working on that one, trying to build that one to what 8750 is at right now. Perfect. But, Perfect. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, listen, I'm in live music and live entertainment. Um, I get to meet a ton of people, not only performing, but doing this podcast as we travel across the country. I like to ask this next question because I really like to just survey people and see where they're coming from and where they're at. I want to know what is the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? I saw this in the, the heads up and I think it's really a tie for me. Um, there's two. So because like my first like band that was like my band was Pearl Jam and being in Seattle, I got to see them in the uh, like mid 2000s at the gorge um they played mm -hmm. there two summers in a row uh the total of three shows that i went to two of i mean you could kind of lump those all in those three shows are on a live album together and those were just like i mean the gorge is just this incredible venue that backs up to the columbia river on cliff so for scenic and just like the whole crowd vibe that's probably it but on performance uh, my wife and I almost didn't go to this show, but we had tickets to a Sturgill Simpson show at the Paramount Theater in Seattle several years ago. Yeah. And he was on the, uh, the Sailor's Guide to Earth tour. And we dragged ourselves out. I mean, we just like sat on a bench in the lobby until the show started. And they played like three hours straight, seven piece band, and just totally, totally floored me. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. That's awesome. You've got good taste. I'm just going to leave it there right there <laughs> as you go through there. That's great. Try to how do people find out more about your events there in Red River and uh, more about what you guys are doing. Best way is to check out the website, um, 8750festival.com for 8750 um, or aspencadefestival.com for Aspencade. Uh, you can find us at, at 8750fest, Facebook and Instagram. And I think it's at Aspen Cage Fest or Festival on Instagram, Facebook for the other one as well. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks so much for being on with us, Jay. Charlie, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, baby, I'm on this.